okay um you know i, I make a lot of videos uh, saying a lot of the same things because I understand that one day I will not be able to say any of those things and When the day comes where I'm so just at the, As a target individual, you know For me, especially um, The PSYOP was been trying to the PSYOP is what trying to come to reality um, and You know me being repetitive putting things together. is not you know makes it worse for me because I'm, the psyops are just this, this, this uh, uh, you know, this, the patheticness of how they try to present themselves versus reality is just disturbing. Um, you know, I am never going to subscribe to these manipulations. Obviously, I know myself. And as a target individual, we're try, they try to gaslight you into accepting this false persona. They try to implant a personality that is not you. They try to make you experience things that is not naturally happening. And they try to make you subscribe to these things via these ways of manipulating your logic and your rationality. And really conditioning you to see these ways of reacting, which is falsified, manipulated, and try to make you acceptive of that. With me, even though I don't experience it, I know it's not me. Right, I know this. I'm experiencing something that's manipulated, and it's gonna be always manipulated into me. And this is life as a target individual, and this is what I'm gonna go through for the rest of my life, dealing with what they do to torment me and mess with me. And I'm not okay with that, but I will never let these people live into this fantasy. Uh, it's disturbing, and maybe not in this video, but in so many other videos, I show that this is something they've done to others. They've been forcing people to experience things in very pedophilia centric and it's disturbing. And one thing with me is, of course, their job is to try to counter reality. That is the war they're in. They are going to try to counter what's real and change that into something else. And try to pain this falsified reality that at this point doesn't take much to see the reality of things you know two seconds ago i saw an ad and it was like uh, maybe I'll, I'll, i can show this like a family and one mother is holding this girl which somebody looks like a girl and before that they were trying to bring back something they did to me this morning making me feel, like get some sexual rea uh, reaction and then try to make me think of this little girl when i was a little boy and try to create this like the, and try to train my brain in these disturbing ways and training this to try to make me subscribe to these pedophilia things and say no what you're experiencing today is what you would experience when you were a child because they falsified memory and created memories with falsification in my childhood so i see this ad and i'm looking at this ad and they try to make me feel stimulation because two seconds ago they did make me have stimulation when they were making me think of what they did this morning and i'm looking at this and i was like how can you even make me look at this kid sexually you know, you just see her the little legs, uh, and her mother's holding her, like... And they were trying to make me think, you see, no, you see, you see, you look at the button. This was this kid. I I'll make this video about this ad. It's a baby. And then, before I take a shower, they try to get into my brain. It's like, no, but you see, that's real. We just mapped it to you when you were a kid. Uh, when we do that to our teenager. They have these dialogues in, in your brain that is just so disturbing. And then they use these bottom feeders for this next-door trash. Who are, whose job is contracted to do these things where they're going to try to make me acceptive of these disgusting things. Of course I know these people are the pedophiles. I know. They want me to be acceptive of these manipulations and they know that I'll never be acceptive to something that is not naturally happening. I know who I am. Trust me, I know my true imperfections very well. And that is the furthest thing from that. Uh, but that's the things that I'm dealing with because I, I'm a target individual. I'm forced to be experiencing these things. And then they talk about, but I remember what you did as a child. It's like you did this and that. They talk, they talk about you abused. I'm like, listen, I did something stupid as a child. And there's something that's impulsive done and done as a child. The, the, the impulsiveness of, of a child at that age is that, and they can, they're capable of doing things like that. Now, I'm not a child. And it's funny today they try to see, you know, they try to gaslight you to be almost retarded. They want you to start thinking this retarded way. And you look at these people, it's like, do you, you, you think I'm going to be retarded? Like, you can make me be retarded, but do you understand that I'm not subscribing to these retardations? And really want you to look at it, it's like, oh, you don't have a brain of a child anymore. It's like, what? 
Hey, did you just hurt yourself? Did you hear yourself? Do you understand how retarded you have to make yourself be? You're a grown fucking woman, a grown fucking man. Maybe you have children. Maybe you have children even in 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 the, the, the in in middle school. You tr are you it's literally saying try to say that a child in middle school is the same as an adult's brain? Yeah, if these people are do, do, but of course they know that they know very much. It's what they do to gaslight you. That's how dumb they have to make themselves be for the purpose of gaslighting you. And the exaggeration version of what I did as a child that's capable of doing something impulsive like a lot of other children is in order to counter the reality that they're in a program that actually torture and abuse children in the ways that you couldn't even understand using military-grade weaponry. They are here killing kids in so many disturbing ways while trying to counter and box out reality. What kind of retard can, are you, what kind of trash can you be to try to, to think that I'm going to let you escape into that world? I'm not. The reality is, yes, you abuse and suffocate and torture. This, and at one point, they're like, no, we don't do that personally. This is a different group. When this comes up, we let others handle that. When basically, they try to, the way they try to obviously target individual, we have, we're forced to have dialogues with people who have no shame and has to be the sound. Um, because they are trying to agitate you at the same time. And so basically, they try to say that, you know, we don't do these things when it comes to torturing women and children, others do that. So you're saying that basically you're in a program where there's a group of people that you somehow involved with that handle the torturing of children. And you're like, no, let me torture this guy. You see how stupid he was. You see the thing he's done when he was a child. You go torture and suffocate this. Like the stupidity of logic that they want you to think. Like that is, and truly in, 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 the, in a state of just pure manipulations and illogicalness, they can really make this thing be logical. Obviously, no, it's not true. One day they do torture them. The people doing this thing to me right now, hurting me, tormenting me, are the same people that I have, will, and are torturing women and children. In every way you see, hear these people try to make sense of this disturbingness, now we, we dared. So we dared to join, join a program that is torturing and doing so much horrible things to babies because what you've done when you were a kid. Yeah? You're trash. And then immediately when you brought, bring up reality, because the reality is this, that's their job. They're con contracted to do these kind of things. And because you are making them not able to live in this bubble, Immediately they bring up, oh, you're going to be screaming, you're going to be tortured, you're going to be, it's like, listen, I'm going to be tortured, screaming and all that, but I'm thankful that they never had to live life doing what you do. Try to counter reality and box out reality. I know things are going to be horrible for me even more because of the fact that I'm not even letting them escape. And because I'm a target individual, so much can be done to me. And I'm not somebody who's trying to survive. I'm not trying to run around and, you know. I will go toward this and say the things that they don't want me to say because I know it, it just breaks the little bubble they've created for them to cope with the reality they're in. I'm never going to let them live that fantasy. I know it's, it's going to make me more painful. Mean, be, meaning that I'm going to go through so much more pain because of that. But it's okay. That is a purpose I'm okay to... This is a death I'm, I'm, I'm okay with. Doing this, I could never be able feeling normal. Just let them just go into this escapism of retardation, just because they have to dumb themselves this way. I'm not gonna let them do that. You sign up for this, to understand what you sign up, and I'll never let you live your fantasy. They tell themselves how they are war. It's like you're not a war. You may be a war between your conscious and your wallet, but that's not war. But don't, don't. You know, I'm not. I, I'm not gonna let you escape. I don't even want you to feel bad for me. I don't care about how you feel. That doesn't change the reality of things. I just don't want you to escape into this fantasy. And uh, let me be honest, tar 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 not every perps that are dealing with me live in this bubble of fantasy. Some of them have understood what they're involved in and what they're part of. Some of them clearly say, oh, well, 
today's not going to be the day that this reimbursement is going to happen to me. You're right. It's not going to be today. But the day will come. Today you're God. So, like, I respect that person who's saying that. She, they understand this, what they're part of. I know what I'm involving myself with. I know that this program is a program that is done and is, has done and is doing and will be doing things, the foulest things to some of the most vulnerable people. We're talking about babies being tortured and suffocated. I'm going to try to block it out till the day comes. Whatever's going to happen. And it's funny how they're like, oh, it's done. It's been done for me. Like, you know, they try to always counter reality. Try to keep, come up with this fantasy. You know, they would tell me. In August 2019, that's when they told me it was actually done. And I understand. That makes sense. So they were like, oh, he, he doesn't even know he's dead. Right? And that was the day things were happening in my brain. Now they're like, no, no, we're done. I was like, I was, they were right that day. I was done. They were telling me that I would never be myself. My, they have my brain, and that's it. That was on August 19, 2019. They were saying that. They will tell me, kill yourself because you're done. We have your brain. We're going to do whatever we want you to exp Like My brain was never... Like, when they said that, I didn't get it the first time. They're like, we have your brain. I said, what do you mean? Basically, from this point on, we're going to make you experience whatever we want you to. It's going to be disturbing. And it's been disturbing ever since then. But these people want me to accept these disturbing ways they manipulate me as if some, this is something naturally happening. When the, the, the first that happened, they said something about, yeah, we, you know, it's over for you. We, you'll never be yourself. We have your brain. It's going to be manipulations, no stop. You will never again be yourself. Since August 19, 2019, it has been the case. Never. Just playing my brain, pop, 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 and getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse, and more disturbing and more subtle. Actually, it was perhaps the same level of disturbance, oh. but the subtleness now is more because it feels like my brain has been just conditioned to that level. It's so, f f it's so disturbing. Um, and so for me, while I'm able to speak. I will continuously say what I need to say, show that I've never subscribed, and if one day my brain goes so gone that I go into that, their fantasy, please see that I've made thousands of videos saying what I needed to say, because this is what I stand on. If it doesn't happen again, that's because my brain's so gone. And if, it's funny, earlier today they were trying to make, uh, bring up that moment, because you know, as a target individual, one thing you find out that is they try to break your self-esteem. They try to break your self-image. They want you to be acceptive of this manipulation. So you find out really soon. And that's something that once you discover this target visual, and you, uh, I remember reading this thing about this Pablo type of torture where they are trying to break your self-image. They want you to see yourself in different ways. That's why when they torment you, they have this disturbing pedophilia type of torture because they want you to identify with these things and see yourself in different lights. Of course, now, not only I don't see that, I love myself in ever, in ne more than ever because I, I, I can't imagine being able to be this strong. But initially, when you get bombarded by these disturbing pedophilia things in your thoughts, imagination, the child porn they implant in your brain and make you think in this disturbing your way. It can, it always, of course, it's going to impact your self-image. You're going to, you're not going to look at yourself the same way. You're going to be looking at yourself as like, oh, well, like this, this is the person who's having all these disturbing implanted thoughts. And so I remember like maybe two weeks or three weeks after these things just happened to me, they were doing these things. I, I saw my surveillance camera and I looked at myself and my, my glasses and everything and I thought about all these pedophile things they do to me. I was like, oh, and I called myself the P word. Like, you know, and that's because they were breaking down my self image. And obviously that's what they tried to do. That was a weak moment in my life. Matter of fact, <laughs> I wrote a suicide letter around my birthday and that was a few months after that like two months or so, because I was like, I'd rather die than become something I'm not. I'd rather die. And in that letter I say, I don't deserve none of this nastiness that they do to me. I'd rather die than become something I'm not. Now, they're trying to distort reality. <laughs> like I said, these people do three things all the time. 
they distort, disorient, and deceive. The way they try to say is like, no, when you saw yourself, what happened is you thought about what you did as a child and you looked at it yourself and you called it. It was like, Poof, please. You think I'm going to look at myself and so go, look, the stupid thing I did was in, in, uh, in eighth grade. <laughs> that didn't feel like, oh, okay, did not, it's not like it, it fazed me, but it was like, I know what, I was a child, I was a kid. I was, and initially, immediately, especially when you I find out exactly how young I was, I was like, oh my gosh, I was a kid. This, this not, will not break down, break me down and make me look at it in different ways. I was just like, I was just a stupid kid in, in eighth grade. But what was breaking me down is the 24-7 pedophilia things that make me experience 24-7. But of course, they try to distort reality, come up with this new fantasy. They don't live off reality anymore. They are at war with reality. They are at war with consciousness. They are at war with everything that is just normal. They are just bottom feeders. I would never like, I remember when they, when they brought that up. I was like, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? It was like, oh, stupid me. But I was now looking at me, oh my gosh, I hate myself. No, I was like, I was stupid. And then on top of that, then it's like, how old are you? were you? I was like, what? In 2001? My gosh, I was just like, what? I was a kid. Jesus. I was a freaking, what? <laughs> the minute you're like, whoop. But then they start doing the pedophilia type of torture. I will hear children scream, eh, and I get the like stimulations and we do the stimul. It was just disgusting. Bombarding me since that day with nastiness. Could not even look at a child, could not even hear children, could not because immediately they do the stimulations. But of course, reality for them, they try to paint you in different ways. And this weak moment that they try to distort in these different ways. This is something that will never, ever, ever, ever happen again because I understand. They were trying to break me down and make me see myself in the ways they make me experience things. That's why I was like, <laughs> two, two, two months later, I'm about to think about killing myself and say, I'd rather die than turn into these things they tried to make me be. This trash are low life pedophiles. But on top of that, I'm so thankful for all the testimonials because. To understand that not only they do the pedophilia type of torture, but the how pedophilia centric this trash are, it's crazy. These people are ran by entities filled with pedophiles. They do the pedophilia type of torture. They torture kids sexually. They do all this nasty. My goodness. These people are pedos in so many levels and so many layers. They do the pedophilia type of torture. The entities are ran by pedophiles. The, not ran by pedophiles, but there's a lot of pedophiles in these entities like the DOD and, and CIA and DARPA. Um, there is, they, they torture children sexually. They do, oh, God. And so what they were trying to do is something that I think Dr. Uh, Robin Dawkins said. It was like, they try to break your ego. They try to break you down so they can rebuild you in the different ways. And within like a week or so or two of just them bombarding the disturbing experience that you see, you experience every day. When you look at yourself, you're not gonna look at yourself the same, same way, especially you don't, if you're not strong enough at that point, you, this is something that's so disturbing and new to you that you experience on a daily basis, everything. Like it was so bad that I'll look at like a, something on the floor and it'll make me imagine some, something sexual with a child. I was take a shower, they would say something, they would say lollipop, and then it was so disgusting. So you look at yourself and you, even though you know this is not true, experiencing that, that naturally, but you know it's happening to you in your brain. And so of course, you're gonna look at yourself in these this, this, this different ways. You have the glasses on and everything and all the things, I was like, oh my gosh. But now, phew, Jesus, I love myself so much. I'm so thankful because I see them for the pedos that they are. And they have to distort the reality of even that moment to try to come up with their fantasy of reality. They distort a reality that they call their reality. Target individuals stay strong. See these bottom fears for what they are. I'd rather starve in the street than having to live the way they live. I'm so thankful to God that I didn't have to live my life like that. Stay strong.